it's a bee and it's really big. It's about that big. Yeah, and it was bringing another dead bug into a hole. Mommy, these ships don't die. I'm so scared of big bees. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> She's so pleasant to bring to dinner. Morning. I'm making myself a smoothie for breakfast this morning and I added a bunch of interesting things to it So I started with water and then I added yogurt carrots kale avocado and frozen berries. Jeremy, you want to try it? It's healthy <laughs> Do you like the avocado in it? Oh, I don't mind avocado. I like the texture of like banana And so you don't taste the avocado much, but it's smooth. Is there avocado in your smoothie? Can you taste it? She says she can't taste it. Well, it tastes okay. weird. That's yeah. called healthy. No, it's not. It's yummy. Give me some. She's really starting to grab for our food. I think she's getting ready to start to eat soon. Just a couple more weeks. She's so big. Me and Isaac are having the best day ever. What is making it a great day? We're practicing American Ninja Warrior. Ah. <laughs> what are you guys doing? We're hula people. You're hula people? Hula. Yeah, in Moana. And we're Mexies, right? Yeah. We both have the same bracelets. Yeah. And we both have the same kind of necklaces. And we're yeah. both wearing pink glasses. Nice. Let me see those glasses. Let me see those hula moves. total mean mom moment this morning. It's gorgeous out and I want the kids to go outside and play but none of them were interested and so I encouraged them to go outside. I was like, hey, if you're still inside, you're gonna get chores. If you go outside, you can just play. And they all went outside and played. Problem solved. An American Ninja Warrior, American Ninja Warrior obstacle go. course. Okay, I'm This is like the tower at the end. Nice. Well done. I love your creativity. What are you girls up to? We're getting ready for the day. Are those stickers? Yeah. This are is those my your eyeshadow. Lips? Mm -hmm. I have eyeshadow. Let me see your ears. I have my ears pierced. Those are stickers. No. They're earrings. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have stickers? Yeah. But your eyes are closed, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice earrings. What's this? It's eyeshadow. Oh, it's eyeshadow. So you guys have made two courses now. So the boys are out doing their American Ninja Warrior course and they just came to get me because apparently there's some giant bee or something. Hmm. Mommy, these ships don't die. Oh, I won't die, sweetheart. I'm just looking for the bug. I wanna get me. You wanna come look for the bug too? Yeah. I'm so scared of big bees. The boys were right. This thing is huge and disgusting. I'm going to get Jeremy. It's a bee and it's really big. It's about that big. Yeah, and it was bringing another dead bug into a hole and we found that it lives there and it's like humongous. Should we try to dig it up and find it? Yeah, it's down there. Do you guys want to come help me out? No. no. Why not? It literally is like Kendra said it was ginormous that's burrowing down here. All right, let's find this thing. What is this thing? That is a big, creepy, Thing and it's like carrying something. You can see on it, it's a little stinger. That bee is digging in my backyard. Is it an alien? I don't know! 
is so creepy. What was it carrying? What in the world is it? A bee that digs? And it was carrying this thing. What? Dude, it's flying around and it's angry. I thought the kids were exaggerating. That is a huge, scary, man-eating, digging bee alien. We're nerds, so we have to research giant bees that burrow under the ground and take their dead prey under with them. It says a cicada killer wasp. Click on it, let's see if that's what it is. There it is. That is exactly what we saw Dude, today. That is creepy. No kidding. Do you guys know cicadas are those bugs that are making the buzzing noise outside? Do you hear the, the loud buzz? noise? Yeah. But it's weird that it looks just like a bee. Well, and it burrows under the ground. No, that's exactly what we have. Yeah. Dude, how do we get rid of them? These things are so big. Look at that. That is nasty. Good thing it rarely stings people. Yeah, that is a good thing. But we have one under our deck. I didn't know there was such a thing as burrowing wasps. Oh my, that is so creepy. That's disgusting. Hey. I'm never going outside again. <laughs> there's a video. Daddy, there's a video. We saw it in real life, Caleb. Oh yeah, that's better. I love that when we see something outside, we have to come in and research it and figure out what in the world it was. Like, what is and how does it work? We're so lucky too that we have the internet. Like, no we can kidding. just look at pictures, we can just type in giant killer bee. Bur burrowing bee. Yeah. So our hose is completely broken. It just sprayed all over me. So we turned it off and I think I've outsmarted it. We're gonna buy a new one? No, I'm gonna cut it. Got him. Yeah, that's a pretty big hole. Okay, so this is now trash. Take it over there and let's see if it works. <laughs> it's awesome! I won! That does look cool. Use it up, wear it out, make it do, or do without. Got we it. We definitely follow that principle. Hi, Janene. <gasps> Janae and I just went for a walk, just the two of us, and she fell asleep. I took some pictures, I didn't take the camera, so I'll have Jeremy put some of the pictures in of how gorgeous it was, but Anyway, it was just a good reminder. I've been in kind of an emotional funk all week. Not necessarily depressed, just not really myself. Anyway, whenever I feel that way, I need to remember to right away go outside and move my body. That's what helps me. So if you're struggling, if you're in a funk, if you are just not having a great day, go outside, move your body. It helps every time. Like I just walked, I didn't even run, and I just felt good to listen to the birds and look at the clouds and feel the wind against my face. See, I get a little poetic when I walk too. And it helped to have a super cute walking buddy. Hi. <laughs> In other news, it's officially 1.32 p.m., which means I maybe should get out of my workout clothes and get my baby in some clothes today. What do you think? Should we get dressed today? So I just checked the mail and I got something that Jeremy's gonna be really excited that he got. He's been wanting one for years and years, like over a decade, and I've gotten several of them. He finally got one. Wanna see what it is? Jeremy. Hey. Guess what? What? You got a jury summons. I've been waiting for that like my whole life. <laughs> You've always wanted to get a jury There's summons. There's no way they'll actually let me be on the jury. You'd be well, a great juror. That's so exciting. Juror 0535. It's your secret two, code. 24601. I got I will... the reference. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see um, if they let me on the jury. Normally, lawyers get kicked off the jury. This is exciting, I need to like fill this out. By the way, your Hello, hair man. is looking awesome today. When I'm like working on something that is overwhelming, I kind of sometimes I'm just like. It makes for really cool hairdos. Yeah. So Jeremy's filling out the juror information. This is the official way to do it with these noises. <laughs> Can you read and speak English? Have you ever been convicted? Oh, I almost put yes to this one. Have you been convicted of a felony? I even started on yes. Are you a judge? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did you click that you're a judge? Yeah. When you mess up on one of these, how are you like, no, because you can't exit out? White out, maybe? Maybe white out. I found a white out pen. They'll never know, ever, that I... That he accidentally, accidentally thought said, that he was a judge. a judge. I just was doing it too fast. 
Well, the kids are really lucky. They have two babysitters tonight and they brought some fun stuff for the kids to do and play with. I think they're making up stories right now. They've been showing them their American Ninja Warrior course. So we are headed out to dinner with Brent and Michelle, which is Jeremy's brother and sister-in-law, and we are going to celebrate because we started the law firm this week, and that's a big deal. We need to celebrate. All right, so these are called empanadas, and Brent right there, that's Brent, he used to live in Argentina, and so he recommended we try some of these. I'm excited? I'm excited. All right, so my empanada has chicken on the inside. Jeremy's is gonna be beef, can I see that? Dates and raisins and yeah. yumminess. Yeah. Whole question, have you ever had or heard of an empanada? She's out. You went and put her to sleep. I did. No, That's I awesome. Have to eat one handy. It's super good. Don't you love her choker? That's your first time to wear it. It is. Laura kept calling it my choking necklace. You're how's, choking. How's your choking necklace? She's away. Hello. Yay. She's so pleasant to bring to dinner. We were a little nervous because this is a nicer restaurant if it would be okay to have a baby, but she hasn't made a noise. Like She's been really good. <laughs> she's been awesome, and we did call ahead of time and ask if it was appropriate to bring a baby, and they said, yep, she's been popular. If they're perfect. <laughs> so we ordered some banana cake and some flan. It jiggles. Look at that flan. Who gets to begin first? <laughs> Well, that was really special to be able to go out tonight and celebrate the opening of Jeremy and Brent's law firm. It's so exciting for me right now to be able to see Jeremy fulfilling this dream of his. Ever since Jeremy decided to go to law school, how many years ago was that? 2007 I started law school. So he started law school in 2007, but that means he must have decided in like 2005 or yeah. something like that. Anyway, ever since Jeremy decided to go to law school. He's talked about how much fun it would be to someday work with his brother Brent and have a law firm together. And so, so to see them doing this and fulfilling their dreams is just so exciting. And they're both really happy and excited about it. Jay House out. We have a huge announcement. I Or I could put you out in space. I'm bloating.